Hello children, did you enjoy part 1 of A reading? Now let us start part 2 A reading Peace and Harmony. Before going to read, let us see the glossary. O means extreme sadness. Sob, draw in breath noisily and irregularly from sorrow while crying. Like that. Accompany, come as a companion. Harmony, a state of living together peacefully. Anonymously, unitedly. Drag means pull along with difficulty. Strange means not familiar, unusual. Bloat means become bigger and bigger, swell unpleasantly. Now, let us recollect the first part of A reading, Peace and Harmony. Children, we learned in the first session of part A reading that the animals in the forest were very friendly. So, the jackal could not eat any animal. The jackal then thought of a plan and started poisoning the minds of the people and it became success. When it poisoned the minds of the animals, the animals started suspecting each other and the jackal's plan worked. The life in the forest became dull because there were no musical evenings. All the animals requested the, sa the sadhu for help. Let us see what happened in the next session and let us read the text to know the details. How did Sadhu help the animals and how he saved from the jackal. Come on, let us move to the reading. The moon thought for a while and decided to come down among the animals and the birds as a Sadhu. As soon as the Sadhu appeared in the forest, the animals and the birds approached him to narrate their tales of woe. They cried, sobbed and blamed each other for disturbing the peace in the forest and the sadhu listened to them. Children, we already learned the meaning of woe. Oh, it is means very unhappy. O means very unhappy. Extreme sadness. Sobbed means the cried. Cried very with fear and unhappiness. Now, let us move to the next paragraph. The sadhu brought together the lions and the rabbits for a common meal. He visited the python and the viper. And had a long chat with them. He advised the eagle not to attack the little chicks that had lost their mother. The sadhu accompanied the tiger and the wild bear to the nearest market. He played with the bulbul. See here, bulbul. The owl and the monkeys. But the jackal was very angry. With what the sadhu was doing, he did not want the animals to live in peace and harmony. So he was waiting for an opportunity to attack the sadhu. One day, the animals, insects and birds held an emergency meeting and they anonymously decided to approach the sadhu and pleaded with him to kill the jackal. The sadhu said, I will not kill the jackal but help you in a different way. When the sun went to sleep, the jackal came to the house of the hens to take a few of them for his supper. The sadhu, who had been lodging nearby, came out of the house and spoke to the jackal, Take me today for your meal. The jackal, who had been waiting for this opportunity, dragged the sadhu and ran into the jungle. He took the sadhu to a lonely place 
tore him into pieces and ate him up. The animals were very sad, angry and disappointed with what had happened to the sadhu. They were afraid that the hungry jackal would appear again the next day. Then they heard a strange noise. All of them ran in that direction. What they saw surprised them. They saw the stomach of the jackal growing bigger and bigger. It continued to bloat until it burst. Then they heard a soft voice. May my animals, birds and insects, Live in peace and harmony. May there be no fences around you. May you sing and dance once again. Remember me and be not afraid. When they looked up at the sky, they saw the moon shining brilliantly, spreading milky brightness over the earth. The animals once again started to roam, sing and sleep in peace. They broke down the fences which they had built. They invited the moon and the stars for their cultural event. See children, the animals once again started living in peace and harmony. How happy are they? How are happy? See the happiness in their faces and how they are playing. They are very happy now. The jackal is away from their lives. And they are happy now. Now children, let us see vocabulary from Peace and Harmony lesson. See, children, read the following words. Each pair has one word and the other word is its opposite in meaning. Opposites can also be called antonyms. Now let us see some words here. Big, opposite is small. Dark, opposite light. Happy, opposite unhappy. Large, opposite small. Live, opposite die. Long, opposite short. Opposite of near is far. Opposite of open is close. Opposite of start is stop. Opposite of thick is thin. Opposite of appear is disappear. Opposite of common is uncommon. Now children, let us see the some words again here. The following pairs of words are similar in meaning. Pick out such pairs from the story. Just we have just read from this. Now let us pick some words here. These are also known as synonyms. Let us see. Animals, creatures. Creature. Animals, creatures. Mm -hmm. Build, construct. Large, big, huge. Small, tiny. Talk, speak. Some more examples for synonyms. They roamed about the jungle. See children, roamed is underlined. The synonym of roamed is moved, wandered. Now let us see the second sentence. The melodious songs of cuckoos. Melodious is underlined here. Synonym of melodious are musical, honey voiced. Next, let us see the next sentence. The tiger and the bear exhibited gymnastics. Exhibited is underlined here. Let us see the synonym. Show, display, manifest. These are synonyms. Now, let us move to the next sentence. Jackal whispered that the tiger was waiting for a chance to kill them. Whisper means murmur, mutter, mumble. All the animals began suspecting each other. Here, see children, suspecting. 
suspecting synonyms are doubt, distress. Narrate their tales of woe. O means misery, sorrow, sadness. These are synonyms of woe. Now, children, let us recall our story once again. What happened? Once upon a time, there lived animals, birds, snakes, insects, very happily in the jungle. They enjoyed a lot. They often held musical evenings in large open field. One day, Jackal entered the forest, which was dirty, dangerous, cunning, spoiled the minds of the people and the animals, birds, insects' minds, poisoned everything's, everyone's mind there. And slowly they were started trusting the jackal and they started suspecting their own friends and they started building the fences around their properties. Now it became very easy for the jackal to hunt the smaller animals and the birds. When the smaller ones cried for help, no one came because already their minds are polluted. Then the moon was very sad seeing this. He cried a lot. Previously, he was invited for the musical evenings. Every day, he was invited for musical events and they all played together happily and they lived together happily. But seeing this situation among the animals, he became very sad. So he decided to come down among the animals and the birds as sadhu. As soon as the animals had seen the sadhu, they started crying and they narrated the tales of woe. They sobbed and blamed each other for disturbing peace. After sadhu listening to them, he talked to all the animals. He talked to all the animals. He gathered the animals. He talked to the animals individually. He tried his level best to change the minds of the animals and birds in the jungle. Slowly, the one day, the animals, insects and birds held an emergency meeting and they unanimously decided to approach the sadhu and pleaded with him to kill the jackal. Sadhu said, I will not kill the jackal but help you in a different way. So, he waited for the time. And one day, when jackal came to hunt the hens, Sadhu said, no, no, don't kill them. Please take me as your meal. Then Jackal, which was waiting for the opportunity, had dragged the sadhu and tore into pieces and it swallowed. It ate the sadhu. And it uh, was, when it was feeling very happy, then suddenly there was a strange noise heard by the animals. All the animals ran that side. Then all the animals had seen that the stomach of the jackal was continued to bloat until it burst. The jackal's stomach was burst out and the moon came out and it, uh, it, uh, uh, it placed in the sky, it went to its original place and there it was shown brilliantly spreading milky brightness over the earth. The animals once again started to roam, sing and sleep in peace. They broke down the fences which they had built. They invited the moon and the stars for the cultural evenings and they are very happy. So children, we learned that we should not listen to the bad words of others. Before listening to others, we should think twice whether are they telling uh, true or not. After finding the truth in the sentence only or the talkings or the words, we should follow others. Otherwise, never, never suspect your friends. If anybody new person come to you and say something to you people and uh, if you say anything about your friends, don't trust them. Never suspect your friends. Never suspect your 
friends children so be happy and if you want to be happy we should be united together and we should be friendly to our we should be friendly and we should live happily we should never hurt others we should never be cunning all should be happy in the society so let us be happy children bye now let us see children how far we have understood our text reading we can test ourselves through comprehension that is if we answer the questions given after the text then we can understand the complete lesson so let us see the question and answers here see the first question is what did the animals do to check the jackal's evil design now let us see the answer animals held an emergency meeting to check the jackal's evil design they wanted to meet the sadhu to ask the help to kill the jackal now let us move to second question how was the moon disguised now answer will be like this the moon disguised as sadhu to help the animals birds and insects to restore peace and harmony in the forest let us move next why did the sadhu ask the jackal to take him for his meal yes children why did the sadhu ask the jackal to take him for his meal yes we all of know that sadhu asked the jackal to take him for his meal to save the lives of animals and he also wanted to teach the jackal a lesson next question what did the sadhu do to restore the peace and the harmony in the story what did he do let us see the answer the sadhu brought together the lions and the rabbits for a common meal he visited the python and the viper and had a long chat with them he advised the eagle not to attack the little chicks that had lost their mother the sadhu accompanied the tiger and the wild bear to the nearest market he played with the bulbul the owl and the monkeys so he tried a lot to bring together all the animals next question what happened to the jackal after he took the sadhu for a meal what happened to the jackal jackal took the sadhu to a lonely place tore him into pieces and ate him up then they heard a strange noise when the animal ran to the direction they saw the stomach of jackal growing bigger and bigger and it continued to bloat until it burst then the jackal died so all the animals were happy now children let us see our last question last but not least the moon thought for a while and decided to calm down as sad children if you were in the place of moon how do you come down to restore the peace and the harmony in the forest now let us see the answer children completely it depends on you it's your own answer for we have to start the answer like this if our i were a moon i would come down as how you come down you have to write your own moon came as sadhu how you come down you have to write your own answer it completely depends on you now children we have completed glossary a reading complete story now what we learn from the story from the story we learned that unity is strength when all the animals were friendly united jackal was unable to eat any of the animal in the forest when it started poisoning the minds and animals started suspecting each other and they separated away from each other 
the jackal was successful in eating them up and and uh, it uh, whatever it can do is it want to destroy the peace and harmony among the animals it destroyed everything it had eaten the animals it destroyed the peace and harmony and it uh, disturbed the life of all the animals if they are united the fox or a jackal or any cunning animal can't enter the jungle and spoil the peace and harmony so what should we learn unity is strength